Hi, this is just a quick video of how to make a simple pendulum model in GeoGebra. Um, I'm going to be using these formula here, which are off the pendulum mathematics uh, wiki, which I recommend looking at, it's very good. Um, if you do the sums, uh, this equation here comes out of, um, describes a simple pendulum, and you can simplify this for small angles to this. And uh, the solution to this equation is just this down here, this is what we're going to be using make that into bold. There we go. Right, so the first step is to just take draw a piece of string and um, to use that to do that I'm going to use the uh, segment tool. So I'll select that, click about there and there. And I'm going to get rid of the axes because we don't need them. Um, I'm going to rename this piece of string to L, stand for length. And um, the next thing we need to use are um, called sliders, and they're very useful. Um, first slider, I'm going to call, make it an angle, and I'm going to call it uh, theta underscore zero. Make it run from zero to 180, and the rest of those seconds are fine. So I click apply. Um, we need another slider for um, gravity, and I'll make that run from zero to 10. Uh, and then we finally we need to tell GeoGebra that it's something called time, so I'll create a slider called T, make it run from 0 to 30, and I'm going to decrease the increment a little bit just to make it take smaller steps and it makes the animation a bit smoother. And I'm going to tell it that time only increases and I'm going to slow it down just a touch. Okay, so um, next tool we need is the angle given size tool, so I'll select that and I'm going to click on B and A. And then I'm going to make an angle of this size here. So I just need to copy this equation over. So theta underscore zero uh, cos brackets uh, square roots, which is written like that, brackets g over l times t. Uh, press OK. And there we go. Uh, to animate it, all you need to do is right click on your slider T and tell it to animate. And that's it. Uh, to make it a bit nicer, um, I like to get rid of the label of this. And if I go to properties, if I untick show reflex angle, I think it looks a bit neater. You can also um, drag this down to make the, the line a bit long, the length of string a bit longer. And up there, shorter, and you can see it's working quite well. And um, also, we need a piece of string between A and B. There we go. And that allows us to get rid of a few points that aren't necessary on that one. And also, you can change the color of B if you like to purple, possibly. Make it a bit bigger and get rid of the label as well. And that's it. Uh, you can also change the angle that we release it from. So if we stop the animation, go back to zero, we can release it from up here if we want. Or a bit, make it a bit small, swing a bit smaller. And we can also change the gravi the strength of gravity. So if we increase the strength to say Earth's gravity, you can see it runs a bit faster. And that's it.